Hello, my seafood loving friends. Welcome to the Flat Out Facts for Wild Pacific Halibut. Did you know that Wild Pacific Halibut has been harvested by BC's communities of fishing families since the 1880s? The season traditionally runs between March and November with fresh fish available during the season and frozen fish available year round. It is of course MSC certified, ocean wise recommended. It is nutritious and most importantly, it is delicious. So some of the most commonly available traditional cuts of wild Pacific halibut. These are the cuts that you'll find at your grocery store or seafood retailer. If you haven't had a chance to pick up halibut steaks in a while, do yourself a favor. This is one of my favorite ways to cook halibut because you cook it on the bone and we all know anything cooked on the bone is gonna be delicious. It's gonna be moist, incredibly delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm taking this one home later today. Maybe the most common would be halibut fillets. About a five ounce portion is the perfect serving size for you and your family at home per person. And this is a treat. These are halibut cheeks. They are prized for their sweet taste and delicate texture. Oh my goodness, if you haven't had a chance to cook halibut cheeks in a while, do yourself a favor. They are extraordinary. Now, when it comes to where to buy wild Pacific halibut, I would always recommend supporting your seafood retailer or fishmonger that supports sustainable seafood, MSC certified or OceanWise recommended. You, of course, want to make sure that quality is premium, so the fish is stored on ice. And don't be afraid to ask your fishmonger to see the fish, to make sure you get in there and smell, if it smells of the ocean, it is of course high quality and that's what you're looking for. This is top quality wild Pacific halibut. All right, now we're gonna talk about how to properly store wild Pacific halibut once you bring it home from your seafood retailer. I like to make sure that I take it out of the package and put it in an airtight container with a little bit of paper towel on the bottom just to draw up some of the moisture and I wanna store it at the bottom of my fridge where it's coldest. Don't keep it for more than about two days and make sure you're cooking it as soon as possible. All right, now easily the most important thing that I get to talk about today is how to prepare it, how to cook it. Wild Pacific halibut is such a versatile fish. You can broil it, you can poach it, you can steam it, you can bake it, you can pan sear it, you can even eat it raw. Oh my goodness, this fish is just ready for your favorite recipe, but the most important thing, you do not want to overcook it when you're preparing it. A one inch piece of fish like so is going to take a maximum of eight minutes to cook. You want to cook it through. You want to cook it till it's firm, not soft, not too hard. And if you're really wanting to check it, make sure you use a thermometer like so, 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, Chefs like me, we like to use our fingers, make sure that it's a little bit flaky, gives a little bit of bounce back, and it's perfectly cooked every time. Thanks for watching my flat out facts today on Wild Pacific Halibut, friends. And remember, for the full facts, go to wildpacifichalibut.com for recipes and delicious tips and tricks on how to make this extraordinary fish tasty at home.